My name is Kenneth Moses. Um, I'm an ER physician, uh, medical doctor, trained at Loma Linda University, and I currently work at several hospitals in the Southern California area. My name is Daryl Peterson and I'm the uh, Director of Anatomical Services at Loma Linda University School of Medicine. You know, he was there for almost every single picture that was taken, okay, and I wanted to make sure that it got his approval before we would take the picture. Uh, as much as possible, we tried to make that happen. And so he would come into the lab after whoever had done the dissection, we're ready to photograph. He'd look it over, yeah, okay, this, this looks good, or we need a little bit more cutting here and there and everything. Um, and so sometimes he would have the final say, but believe it or not, even after he was done, I would say, no, this needs to be a little cleaner, uh, and, and then we would do a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, Daryl is extremely detailed, extremely detailed. <laughs> The way that we decided what was going to go into each book, it was a very standardized method. If you look at the book and you look at each chapter, you can tell that we choose a single viewpoint. So for the hand chapter, the hand chapter has this viewpoint just like this. And all of the pictures are arranged in that way. Superficial to deep to bones to x-ray, everything is, the CT, is in this the format, so to speak. So once we talked about it, you know, we would decide what is the the viewing angle for this particular chapter, we kind of had a sense of direction of what we were going to do. And then it was just a matter of picking the right cadaver specimen. Daryl would take a picture, he would say, Ken, this particular specimen uh, wasn't fixed properly, I don't like the color tones or something. I would tell him it looked great, but he was very detailed and he would say, I'm sorry, if I don't like it, I'm not going to take a picture of it. So the, the selection of a photo required figuring out what the viewing angle was going to be for that chapter, what step of dissections were going to be used for that chapter, and then um, getting the right specimen to fit what we wanted, or the image that we saw in our minds, so to speak. And to help determine which views we wanted, what type of dissection for each chapter, we actually had a storyboard, uh, kind of like the oh, way yeah, you we would did. lay out, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, a typical book, but Every we had a, a storyboard that was this huge thing up on the wall, pegboard, where uh, every page for the book was on a clipboard, and they were all hung up, and so you could take the clipboard off, and you could move them around, and you could change the order very quickly, uh, and that helped a lot, saved a lot of time. I looked at the existing books that were available, and I felt that they were great books with great material, but they just needed to be organized differently. The, the so other, that's kind of what, go ahead. The other thing I can speak to, even though, I, like I said, I'm not a physician and, and um, I'm not a medical student, I know that our medical students spend hours and hours and hours studying. And if you can try to arrange the information in a more concise, uh, and logical way so that you can cut down on that studying time without missing any of the details but one of the things that our book attempts to do is to um, take the photographs of the dissections from the same orientation and to have enough of the surrounding uh, anatomy in the photograph so that you can quickly orient yourself in, the, in each image and so with a larger page size and more of the surrounding anatomy, uh, we tried to make that a little bit easier and uh, save, save them time on their study. Um, a lot of students really like the clinical correlations. They like the pictures, they like the diagrams. Students tell me that they like to the, um, the page where we list the origin, insertion, integration, action, and blood supply, the tables. Um, they also really like the, um, the x-rays, they like the CT, the MRI, they like, um, they like the little icon in the upper right hand corner to find the region that they're looking for. There's just a lot of things that students really like. There's a lot of questions that I get from physicians in practice who request specific information that they would like to see because they actually use this book in patient care which is one of the goals that we had as we put this together was 
we wanted it to be something that students could use, residents could use, and physicians in practice could use. So it's very satisfying to hear that they all seem to be using it slowly.